Okay, I'm back. Now the next, um, the next one I wanted to talk about, Smart Fox wise, is the um, avatar chat, and I was thinking that we could do this chat also. And you can see here the avatar chat. Basically, I'm just running it right now off of my off a folder off of my desktop. You log in and then you've got your character which you can click and move around in the chat room and then when you make a chat and hit send it shows up in the thought bubble and this is what I'd like to do as our first project in the um, multiplayer class is create this avatar chat which basically the codes already written and what we'll do is we'll just extend it and we'll make it so that maybe we can have different um, avatars and you can see here here the rooms showing up um, we could um, have different rooms and whatnot and then implement it let's say on Dan's courses so that's what I was interested in doing is this avatar chat and along those lines I started looking um, on the documentation how would you do that basically um, so let's see here I'll show you so on the documentation I went from the avatar chat and I scrolled down and I went to this area connecting to databases so that if we did do the avatar chat instead of just having um, uh, users creating their own username and logins wouldn't it be great if they could connect to the MySQL database that runs behind my website uh, Dan's courses I use a uh, Joomla to do a database driven website with a MySQL database and um, PHP creating all the web pages. So I went to connecting to databases and found a lot of information on how to make that work. And what I'd like to do is share some of that with you. Um, and I think along the way you learn quite a lot. Now, first of all, on this page, it said yes that you can connect Smart's Fox Server Pro is capable of connecting to almost any database so that was encouraging and then it said in order to connect to your database engine you have to um, use either choice one or choice two and what worked for MySQL would be choice two which was installing a JDBC driver for my database um, engine so to do that I went to let's see here I went to, it'd be nice if I had it here, um, MySQL, and I made an account at MySQL, and I was able to download the Connector J driver for MySQL, and the version that I downloaded was 5.1.12, and I downloaded um, the tar file which I would use on a let's say a Linux server and since I'm working locally here in Windows I downloaded the zip file and it was 3.8 megabytes I downloaded it here and I'm going to show you how I implemented it and got it to work um, in SmartFox so it's pretty pretty awesome so first of all you have to download this alright and it's called let's see here mysql-connector-java dash 5.1.12 and let's move on here okay and then after that it said very clearly in the documentation what you need to do to install it now I found the documentation in this case to be not as easy so um, I'll I'll let you see what I did. So I downloaded it to my desktop and I'll just open this up here. Okay, there it is. MySQL connector Java 5.1.12. And inside of this folder, I found the um, the jar file, MySQL connector Java 5.1.12 and I needed to copy this and I copied it into a couple of places so I'll show you where I copied it first of all 
I copied it into my SmartFox server folder into the JRE folder into the lib folder into the ext folder so I'm in the SmartFox server folder where the programs located JRE lib ext and there it is my SQL dash connector dash Java 5.1.12 dash bin dash jar I also copied this org fo uh, folder and the org folder is here in source you see this org folder here I copied this folder also into SmartFox. Not only that, I also went to my programs folder and in my programs folder I went to the JRE, nope not to the JRE, I went to the Java folder and inside my Java folder, JRE6, I also went into the lib folder, ext folder, and I copied the .jar file in here too. MySQL dash connector dash Java dash 5.1.12 dash bin dash jar. And I'm not sure if I actually needed to have it in there, but I also copied it into my Java folder just in case. Okay. And then the next thing you need to do is in your SmartFox server, I went into my server folder and I opened up config.xml. And in, um, so SmartFox server folder, into your server folder, open up your config.xml file. And that's when you need to do some edits to your um, SmartFox config file. And we'll talk about that in the next video.